to the Real Estate Scripts Podcast, the show that helps you know what to say when you're talking to buyers and sellers so that you can close more deals and earn more money. I'm Darren Tunstall, a real estate professional, coach, and number one best-selling author. Let's get into this. Before we begin today's episode, I want to clarify some important points. I am a licensed real estate agent and my DRE number is 01853445. It's crucial to note that this podcast operates independently of my affiliation with Keller Williams Realty and any realtor associations. My primary goal with this podcast is to provide you, our listeners, with valuable information, insights, and practical tools. As a reminder, the purpose of scripts and dialogues is to come, learn, practice, and be prepared to fail forward. This is where we make mistakes and help each other out, but we're mostly interested in seeing how we can get better. First, we read through the script word for word, and then we go back and put it into our own natural tone, style, and phrasing. You won't know what to say until you go through the script. So with that said, many people will say, that's not how I sound, and I totally get it. That's not how you sound. But that is the reason why we practice every day so that the script becomes you and in your own voice. So read it word for word first, then go back and put it into your own natural tone, style, and phrasing. And I think it'll work out. Uh, We're going over lead generation this week, and it is all about for sale by owners today and the benefits of using a real estate agent. So to set up the scenario, this conversation is between you and a homeowner who is attempting to sell their home as a for sale by owner, you highlight the advantages of working with an agent rather than selling their property independently. Requirements are strong negotiation skills, in-depth market knowledge, effective marketing strategies, and excellent communication and interpersonal skills. The intention is to demonstrate the value and benefits of using or utilizing a real estate agent to sell a property compared to selling it independently. So just to give you an idea, um, to start out this particular script, it kind of goes into this, like you're meeting somebody, you might be doing some door knocking, right? And uh, that's essentially the way that you would usually meet a FISBO um, for sale by owner. So you're, you're walking by, you see their own for sale sign in the yard, and you stop by and talk to them. And um, the conversation usually starts with like, yeah, typically when you're working with an agent, you know, um, and then it slowly transitions to, you know, when you're working with me and then the eyes come in, but in general, and you'll, you'll, you'll see it in the very beginning. I set it up to where it's like, you know, when you're working with a real estate agent, these are the things that you should be looking for these. And this is stuff that I do stuff like that. So you'll see. Um, So whenever you're ready, I'll be your FISBO and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. And I'm glad you went over that because I was reading the script and I noticed that I noticed it started off with agent, agent. And then, and I'm, you know, me, I'm like more about like what I can do, what our team can do. So I'm glad you went over that. It makes sense to me now. Cool. So, um, hi there, uh, Darren, my name is Derek with, uh, Keller Williams Realty. How are you this morning? I am doing well. Uh, how are you? Good, good. I'm doing great. You know, just getting ready for the season, you know, trying to get all my shopping in, keep the wife and kids happy. Um, I had to mention something to you, actually. I noticed you're selling your home as a for sale by owner, what we call in the office as a FISBO. Um, And I had a question for you. I'm curious if you're open to talking with me more about the benefits of working with a real estate agent. Um, I mean, I've thought about it, but, um, you know, to be quite honest with you, I'm not, I'm not interested in paying a commission. Okay. That, that makes sense. Did you happen to buy this property that you, that you own right now or did it get handed down by a family member? Um, yeah, I, I, I bought it myself. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. So you're not used to paying commissions, which that's why obviously you want to do a for sale by owner. I can appreciate that. As you know, um, and in any time, but I'd say specifically in the market that we're dealing with right now, selling your home can be very challenging and getting the proper marketing and having a professional guidance, um, such as a realtor, such as myself, I, I believe can make a significant difference. Um, do you have a moment? May I share some insight with you? I mean, sure. Yeah, I'm always willing to listen. But like I said, I really don't want to pay a commission. So 
okay, well, why don't we just, you know, this conversation will take us about five minutes or so. And, and at the end of it, um, we'll have a better understanding of how I can help you uh, get the highest value in the in the fastest time frame for your home. And, you know, you can think more about the commissions um, as we as we go through the conversation, because that's obviously a concern of yours. And I completely respect that. However, let me explain the, the value of a real estate agent um, and what we can bring to the table. An experienced agent, you know, such as myself, uh, possesses a deep understanding of the market and can help you set the right price for your home. And by doing that, we can leverage other agents in the in our network, uh, creating a good, great marketing strategies. Um, you know, this will attract some really quality buyers that you, that you might not uh, have visibility to if you just try to do it on your own, um, and potentially leading to a higher sales price, which, in essence, uh, pays for the commissions that you keep discussing. And um, you know, and, and the best thing about it is, you know, agents such as myself also handle all the negotiations, the paperwork, the legal complexities. Uh, at least saving you a lot of time and effort and letting me do the work for you. Um, you know, so with our expertise, you can typically offset our commissions by maximizing your profit. Does that make sense to you? Um, I mean, it sounds really good. I mean, are I mean, I'm curious. I mean, are you willing to negotiate on your commission? Absolutely. You know, um, you know, here at the Keller Williams office, we we don't necessarily have a, a set amount. And all these commissions are negotiable. That's the beauty of it. So I think as I provide you value and, and as you see my, what I can do for you, um, you know, as a professional agent, I will invest considerable time, effort, resources into selling your home. Obviously, I'll use my expertise, uh, market insights and marketing to the proper channels to showcase your property effectively, right? And that can be through many different methods of online, social media, um, um, door knocking around your area to create a buzz and uh, also sending out mailers. And then the most important thing is, you know, networking with other agents and, and building that uh, mutual respect to try to get that win-win scenario that we always push for. Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, and, you know, offering the, offering a competitive compensation is essential to ensure the best service for you and that, that you can achieve the highest possible outcome for you and your family. Um, have you had any past experience that led you to consider just selling on your own? Well, not not necessarily on selling on my own, but um, you know, like I said earlier, I did buy this property. Um, it was with an agent that represented me, but I just feel like they did not uh, do a really good job, and um, there were. They were always just never could seem to answer the questions that I was asking or never could, you know, seem to be available when I needed them to be available. Um, and there was some uh, issues in the actual negotiations that just didn't make me feel like working with an agent is going to be um beneficial for me and so that's why like i'm just taking the reins in my own hands on this property because you know if i had to go through that again then why why would i i mean i'm not i just don't want to put myself in that position i just feel like that was a really bad experience yeah yeah that that's disheartening you know and you know i've, I've heard those stories in the past and and i find that um you know some agents sometimes they get overwhelmed you know and they're working with too many buyers um, and and since, as you're realizing right now, that the the um, compensation competitive compensation is going to be paid through the the seller, uh, those those percentages both to my my side, which would be the listing agent, and to the buyer's agent as well. So, and that's something we can discuss in more detail. But you know, I, I do understand where you're coming from. It's not the first time I've heard that that story. You know, we, we are out here working very hard for our clients and customers, friends and family. Um, and 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 I think, you know, what you get from me personally is, you know, I, I, I think I excel in the communication process. I understand how big of a deal this is for you personally and um, how that you've worked really hard to get to this point in your life and you want to maximize your money. I can completely uh, respect that, um, you know, but but through the real estate process, there are a lot of things that can come up during the contracting. Um, and I think it's great that you should, you know, work with a professional such as myself. Um, you know, usually I would advise interviewing multiple candidates and seek referrals and trusted sources. Look, look for someone who genuinely listens to your needs, you know, and and communicates clearly, frequently. 
I am that type of person, you know, especially coming from the hospitality business for 20 years. I pride myself on, you know, communication and, and making sure that I answer any questions and, you know, solving problems before they become a problem. I th I'd say that that's one of my strengths, um, you know, and working with a reputable agent with a proven track record, but like someone for myself within my office, you know, that I have people to lean on. I have, uh, there's over a hundred agents in our office alone, never mind Keller Williams National. And quite frankly, I'm a professional and um, and I think you get the best from me, you know, day in and day out, I'll be here for you. And by the way, have you considered whether you already have a potential buyer or not? No, I have, I have not thought about uh, whether I have a buyer or not, but uh, you know, I, I have sold my house in a house that I've owned in the past, you know, it was probably a two or three homes before. Mm -hmm. So kind of, I mean, I appreciate everything that you're saying, but I am kind of familiar with the process. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, yeah, I understand. That's, that's, that's awesome. You know, it sounds like you, you know, have had some experience at selling your homes and, and I think that's important. So you have a good understanding of, you know, what it takes, right? Because uh, some people underestimate the time and effort that goes into, uh, like we said, getting the right price in a timely manner. Um, you know, in the, in the real estate market is consistently evolving, and using a professional can provide you with, uh, you know, up-to-date market knowledge, technology, and the proper tools to maximize exposure for your property. You know, here at Keller Williams in particular, we have a wider reach and can tap into many different networks with, with buyers, which is the most important thing, right? We want to create this competitive um, atmosphere, if you will, around your home, which drives the price up, especially if we price it accordingly. We'll get more sites, more views. We'll do amazing open houses. You know, your space is, a, is beautiful. Um, you know, so my expertise can help you with that. But, you know, I, I can sense that you definitely want to uh, sell it on your own. And, and I can completely understand that. But, you know, maybe we can just, uh, you know, set up an appointment, you know, uh, within the next week or so and just kind of go over things in more detail. And I can break down the um, the various spendages. Right. So we can look at if your house is sold at such a price without a commission, how much do you actually take home? And vice versa, we can we can say, okay, if we create this competitive market and we get can get, you know, 10% more for your house and you're only paying six in commission, you could actually come up 4% higher. How does that sound? I mean, obviously it sounds good. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that I am working with a close family member who 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 knows a lot. He, she used to be a broker in the past, so she's kind of been advising me on that as well. I like the rates that you're saying too. Yeah, you know what? I, that's even better. If you, if you have someone right now that you're bouncing some ideas off, I think when you and I sit down, the conversation will go a lot smoother and you'll have a better understanding of what I can provide for you. And at the end of the day, I completely respect if you decide to go with a family member. You know, I've done that in the past as well. So there would be no hard feelings. I just want to give you the opportunity to get the most you can for your home in a timely manner. Um, could, do, would you still mind sitting down with me just to go over this in, in more detail? It would only take about... 30 to 45 minutes. Um, and then at the end of it all, I think you can still sleep on it, you know, and decide whether you want to work with me or work with a family member. Well, you know, I'm not in that much of a rush. Um, I mean, I can wait until the next season to sell this house. I mean, it seems like you're really kind of pushing for an appointment, but I'm really not in that much of a hurry. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We don't we don't necessarily have to sit down this this next week. But it would, would it be in the holidays and stuff like that? Um, so what what I guess let me ask you this: what, what are your first steps? What's the first steps you plan on doing to to start to sell your house? And what's kind of your timeline? My timeline is like I said, I'm not in much of a hurry. Um, it's something that I don't have to do, but I'd like to take advantage of the market right now because home prices are high. And uh, so I would say if a buyer comes along that is interested, then, you know, maybe within the next three to six months. But if it doesn't happen, then I have to then I'll wait. I'll wait for a year. OK, yeah, that, that sounds fine with me. Uh, let's let's do that, though. Why don't I just um, I could follow up with you at the beginning of the year and I'll uh, see how things are going with you. You know, we could take it. The first analysis I would do is just, um, you know, like to get you to find out how much your house is worth right now. Right. Like everything changes. And, and I'm not sure what type of work and stuff you've done to your home so far. But I can also give you some tidbits on that as well. Again, you want to have it looking very clean, sometimes just a fresh coat of paint on it and other things like that um, can help. You know, I can sense that, you know, it's an older home in a, in a, in a beautiful community. 
And, you know, I do have some great vendors to some preferable vendors that I've worked with in the past. So as we analyze things, you know, and, and again, there's no rush, you know, we're just going to do this at your speed. Um, you know, we can, we can perfect, get your house looking fantastic. And, um, and then hopefully we can sell it for the highest price. And what I'll do is just kind of do some due diligence on my end and, uh, and I'll just send you some valuable information until we decide to really um, push forward. So what is this home valuation that you're talking about? Well, the home evaluation is a pretty cool um, thing that, the, that we have in the multiple listing system. And we can basically, um, you know, plug in some numbers, get some comparables from what's what uh, uh what homes have sold in your area over the past six months per square footage backyard um bathrooms kitchens you know all those beautiful things that can be redone and that will just give you a better understanding of exactly what you can you know what your house is going for on the the uh the market right and then obviously to get it really specific we would have to have an appraiser come in and uh, do an appraisal and that would get you exactly the price that we could kind of uh price your home at and um, yeah, it just gives you a better understanding of the price because I'm not sure. Do, do you even know how much your house is worth at the moment? And I just share that I, information, but do you know personally? Um, I just looked on Zillow, but I would be interested in seeing what that is all about. Is yeah, that something that you can discuss? Absolutely, absolutely. I can, I can get that. I can turn that around pretty quickly by the end of day today for sure, and just get that over to you so you have you know, a few days to, um, you know, uh, soak it all in and, and kind of say, okay, you know, if I did a little work here or fix this, you know, maybe I could get more for the home. And yeah, it's great to have, you know, I think that uh, having that done is, is important and it gives you a better understanding. Yeah. Can you drop that by then? Yeah, I can stop back by um, later today. Will you be home uh, after three o'clock? Yes, I will. Okay, great, great. Well, well, thank you so much for your time. You know, I think um, it was great talking with you. I have a really good understanding of, you know, your concerns and I will keep those in mind as we move forward. And yeah, the, like I said, there's no rush. We can do it at your speed and um, just make sure we, we get things done the proper way. Awesome. Sounds good. I look forward to seeing you. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. Derek, how did you feel about that? I felt that uh, I, I like the pushback, you know, cause we're usually very friendly. So it made me kind of think outside the box Um you know, felt a little lengthy, to be honest, but like this script is kind of long and you had a lot of stuff to like talk about. Mm -hmm. so, so overall, I, I felt like I was able to get a couple tie downs in there and get um, I, I was trying to get the appointment set, you know, and, and I think I did at the end of the day with the comparable to market about ana analysis, which we've been kind of talking about more in detail lately. So I, don't know, I give myself a seven, seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, there are purposely objections built into this because when you talk to for sale by owners, they are um, they are objecting. You yeah. know, uh, I'm using a friend. You know, your commission rates are, are a problem. You know, are you willing to negotiate those? Um, you know, the other ones that I was really trying to go into is like, you know, I'm not in a rush. Uh -huh. You know, and then um, I also purposely brought back the CMA because you mentioned that because I really wanted you to win and get that appointment yeah. too. But Thanks. I did notice this. So this is a script. It, 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 it's not a, there's not a right way. There's not a wrong way. We, we, I purposely write them so that it goes through with flow, but it went into a different direction. And sometimes this is what I was talking about yesterday. We don't have time to think about these things, you know, by practicing real estate scripts, practice every single day, doing it consistently, we're setting ourselves up so that when we are in a scenario that we can react because we've already been through that scenario multiple times, either for real or in practice. But I did, I, 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 I'm happy you uh, went down the route that you did because it gave me an opportunity to see you asked for the appointment twice, which was awesome. What I loved about the way that you did things is you um, incorporated a lot of your past experience. And I've been seeing you do this a lot more lately, uh, you know, taking your hospitality experience, incorporating to that, you know, and that's the idea is I think people forget when they get their real estate license sometimes and you're not doing this, but I just want to say this out loud that when people get their real estate license, they forget for some reason about all their past lives. And 
you are a professional from a previous career, job, business experience, whatever you might have. And you're just adding real estate as a, a an additional item to your resume. It's an additional skill, but you have all these communication skills, management skills, teamwork skills. You've got all these and you're just adding real estate to it. And you have all the supporting cast, like a mentor, a coach, a trainer, team leaders, things like that, that are helping you to navigate the process. So I really like that you bring your professional experience into it. The other thing is I wanted to say is about, oh, FISBO. <clears throat> never say, never call a FISBO a FISBO. Okay. <laughs> when oh, you're, no. <laughs> when, you're, when you're talking to a for sale by owner, you know, you're in the industry, what you call a FISBO. Like, what'd you call me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. All right. Just recognize them as a homeowner who's selling their home on their own. And you're not the first one to do that, by the way, but it was hilarious when you called me a Fizbo. I did it right out of the <laughs> gate too. I was like, I, yeah. I saw that and I was, I was going to say Fizbo and then tie it back into what it meant, you know? And um, I try to do that with these acronyms, like, like you mentioned early on. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, whenever we mention MLS, multiple listing service, uh, NAR, National Association of Realtor, CAR, California Association of Realtor, you know, Fizbo, for sale by owner. Always spell it out because people don't know what they're doing. Anyways, um, Diana, I, yes. I, we're we're three minutes before the end. That was a really long script. So, what did you think just by listening? I mean, I my not my tummy was a knot because all these objections I've I've gotten and I've had really no good response to them or practice response or that I'm comfortable and confident. To address that response and then after they leave I go damn it I should have said this so like I really do need to work on my my conversation points my script I'm so happy I'm going to be joining you guys and then the other thing I want to mention is I know that we were rehearsing or Derek was rehearsing right now um something I would want to mention is at times that your energy in your voice went down and it sounded almost robotic so you want to make sure it sounds natural and engaged and alert um, with energy, because you want to, I feel like you want to move the conversation along and not have someone check out mentally and be like, oh, okay, their voice kind of went flat. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's a great note. And I, I sometimes do work on that because I am a fast speaker. So I usually like can fire away, but I'm trying to actually slow it down. So I'm glad you noticed that. And I probably still need to just find that happy medium. When I hear you speak in general anyway, Derek, it's, it's energy, it's upbeat, it's positive. And then there were moments where I feel like you were thinking too much or um, maybe you're trying to stress something, but it slowed down, it got flat. And I was like, oh, where's Derek? <laughs> so, okay. I, I yeah. like that. Yeah. And sometimes you do when you're starting to read it, like because I am soaking in the information as well. So you tend yes. to like slow down when you, when you really have to read. And then when I go off script, I get back to like, just, just shooting it. Like, like Darren said, it kind of just came naturally of how to try to close this conversation because it was going on a little long in my head. Uh, but I'm glad I got all these words in because even yeah. if you get 75% of this in, you're still looking pretty good, you know? Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 A and a lot of these scripts will transfer over to other scripts as well. So like, for example, when we talk about the listing presentation or even helping a buyer, like a, a lot of those things that you mentioned in here, you are reiterating what you do in a, when you have a listing, you know, like, and, and we have listing presentation scripts where we incorporate, you know, we, we do open houses, we do mailer, which you brought all back into the table. No, that was a great job. You know, we always talk about tone, style, and phrasing. And yes, you are totally absorbing a script that you've never seen before simultaneously yeah. while trying to incorporate your own customization. But that's the idea, right? When you do a script, number one, we memorize it. Number two, we internalize it. And number three, we customize it. And the customization is after we've internalized it, you make it into your own voice, you put it in your own tone, style, and phrasing, and it becomes you. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. that's where that's where the flexibility comes into play. But just keep coming back. I thought you did an amazing job. And I think oh, Diana yeah. is, yeah. So 
Good, good, good job. I like it. I like, I love the constructive criticism because I, we always can get better and sometimes just the smallest thing. So yeah, I feel like just keep you in your voice when you're having conversations and you'll, you know, you'll beat out any other agent because that energy, that intensity that, that you and Nathan have in your voice, that is what sellers I think would want to hear. Like, okay, these people can get the job done. They don't want someone that's kind of soft-spoken and sweet, possibly, you know, they want someone that feel like they can take control of the situation. I feel oh, like. there's no doubt. There's no yeah. doubt. People want people who are confident. And if you go in there and say, like, this is why we talk about some of those um, words that we use, like ums and kind of like, well, you know, kind yeah. of when yeah. people do, I mean, when people start to hear that kind of stuff, they're like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think I need to find someone who's going to be confident and knows that they can get this done. And there's no doubt in my mind, you know that you can get this done. You know that you're going, you're the guy for it or you're the lady for it. Mm-hmm. Diana, I know you're the same way. We didn't have a chance to to, to go over with you. Um, usually this is, just for your own reference, this is a rarely long script. Um, okay. and they're usually a lot shorter and we typically have time to go back and forth a couple of times before we, um, have our five to 10 minute breakout session for discussion. So, I mean, my tummy's in not thinking about my turn, but I need this. So it's that they say, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So here, that's why I'm here. I'm going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> awesome. Love to hear it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you too. Thank okay. you so much. It's, it's yeah. awesome. You guys did a great job. All right, see you, everybody. Bye, soon. See you. Okay. Bye. All right, so that's the script. I hope that you found it useful. Just head over to realestatescriptspractice.com for more resources and downloads. This podcast is for the purpose of education only, and it does not make any guarantees. We suggest you seek out the help of your broker, coach, mentor, CPA, or attorney. Brought to you by Darren Tunstall, California DRE number 0185345.